Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. This evening I've made it out on a really chilly night to Bradwell on Sea to the chapel at St Peter's here on the wall. Um, what a fantastic location this is to shoot and the reason why I'm here in the pitch dark it's a clear night so it's going to be some astro photography. Continuing on my sort of winter night photography project that I've got going I've uh, come down here on a really cold night to hopefully capture some star trout images so let's see what I come up with today. Oh, thankful that there's this little hut here to shelter in. But um, what I've done, it's obviously going to be difficult to show you uh, like I would do on a normal shoot about uh, setting up the composition. But um, I've set up my camera to on 17 on the widest uh, that I can possibly go on the lenses that I've got at f4, ISO 400, and 30 second exposures. What I'm doing is I'm trying to set up a composition to get some star trails going. Um, I really did want to try and get a astro shot of the stars frozen, which hopefully I will be able to do at some point. Um, that's, uh, that, that will hopefully uh, work out quite well as well, that I wanted to capture that composition. But the problem I've always had about doing astrophotography around the area that I live is the amount of light pollution. Now, knowing that obviously I had the conditions that I did this evening, that uh, it was obviously clear skies and this is the darkest area local to me that I can get out and shoot. However, it is pretty remote, but there is still a lot, a lot of light pollution coming up. I was trying to create a composition of the chapel itself but the angles that I was trying to get, or the compositions I was trying to get of the chapel, meant that I was looking back towards some of the towns that are around this area, and they're a good sort of 10 to 15 miles away, if not more, um, but you're still getting a vast amount of light pollution, which is really, it's a great shame, unfortunately, but unfortunately, that is the, the area that I live in, it is very urbanized and, um, yeah, to be frank, I'm lucky that I've come to this location that's as dark as it is to actually see the stars. But it is obviously limiting me in the direction that I can point my camera to then obviously achieve the uh, types of images that I wanted to do. So looking north with the, um, with the chapel uh, is looking towards sort of Colchester direction and um, yeah that's quite a large town and obviously a, a huge amount of light pollution. Uh, looking sort of east from uh, or west for, from there sorry uh, you, you, you're looking towards Malden which again obviously is a fair sized town with a bit of light pollution as well so it really is tricky. The only direction I could point the camera in there was a portaloo in front of it as well so if it's not light pollution it's yeah some other sort of pollution but hey ho anyway i've left the camera obviously going with the uh, remote trigger on lock up mode so it's obviously taking successive images of 30 seconds and then in post production i'll be able to stitch those ones together as i'm sitting down taking refuge in the hut and the camera is off at the other side of the, the chapel here and hopefully the uh, bunny rabbits haven't run off with it. I'm going to grab a quick cocoa and uh, then go and find my camera. Yeah. 
it's so fun to, to do astrophotography. I find it really enjoyable. I mean, just, just watching the stars is something really sort of, um, yeah, really sort of primeval about it, isn't it? Um, it's just just witnessing your being in the entire universe. So, uh, yeah, oh, obviously I'm getting quite deep here, actually, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, lighting it up a bit. And back to the photography, what I've um, been able to do, I've still got the camera going, it's uh, just gone over half an hour taking the exposures, but in that time, um, apart from drinking my hot chocolate, which was uh, really nice and uh, definitely well worth making it before I came out this evening, I've been using the Canon 250D with the 10 to 18 mil lens on to take some of uh, some astro images with the stars sort of frozen, so no star trails. Um, and actually, it's working out really quite well. I'm super impressed with the Canon 250D as a, uh, as a camera. Um, I think for anyone that's uh, wanting to start out in photography, I think it's an absolute fantastic camera to, to get. And the images that I've been able to capture looking at the back of the screen, working out really quite well. Um, I've had the uh, camera angle quite up to get one of the gable ends of the chapel here. And uh, yeah, it's working out really quite well. With the lens itself, the 10 to 18 mil lens, what I've done is used the uh, rule of 500. So that's 500 divided by the focal length of the lens that you're using. So in, in for this instance, it's 500 divided by 10, which is the widest that I can get on this camera. However, because it's a crop sensor as well, you have to then divide that further by 1.6 or the crop sensor factor. Um, I think it's 1.5 if you're shooting on Nikon. So yeah, when you get that, it's about 31 seconds or so, uh, which is what the um, reading was giving me to, to try and extend the shutter speed for that length of time. That means that there's no movement in the actual stars themselves. So what I've been able to do is just obviously keep it at 30 seconds rather than going on to the bulb uh, mode. Uh, I kept it at 30 seconds at f4.5 ISO 800 and it's working out really quite well. And I've taken, as I say, several images that I'll put up at the same time. But um, yeah, I'll leave it for another 15 minutes or so and uh, go and check on the main camera. I've walked around a couple of times and it is, is still there, which is obviously a good thing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I don't think uh, getting back home and telling the wife that I've lost my camera, um, yeah, I think I might as well just skip here for the whole evening. The final image there that I've captured at the 30 second exposure, um, an hour long time lapse that I've got there, so I'll be able to stitch all those together and get the star trails, hopefully. Because that's only one of the difficulties, isn't it, of doing this type of photography, is you don't know that you've actually achieved what you want to achieve until you actually get back and edit all of the images and then stitch them all together and overlay, etc. etc. Um, yeah, and uh, maybe though, the good thing is, is these conditions hopefully now, at the beginning of January, will uh, be a little bit more frequent than they have been, and uh, maybe if it has gone wrong, I'll have to come back out and try it again. But um, I've really enjoyed myself this evening, it's been really good fun coming down here and taking these astro images, and hopefully, as I say, some of them have worked out all right.
With all the gear packed up now, only just a uh, short walk back to the car and then obviously that drive home. And as it's a uh, school night, I must uh, obviously make haste and get back home. And uh, yeah, but it's been a really enjoyable evening coming down down here and um, yeah the conditions were fantastic and hopefully as I say it's uh, always tricky to know what you've actually captured until you obviously processed it on the computer but hopefully as I say it's uh, worked out really interesting and I think with the combination of the star trails that I was able to capture with the uh, ESR uh, worked out really well and um, the images that I captured with the 250D as well, um, the combination of the two types of photography. And one benefit of having the two cameras um, as well, because yeah, while well, you've got star trails going on, at least there was something else to do in the hour that I had that uh, obviously running for. But um, yeah, just really enjoyable, isn't it? Just to uh, try and capture this type of photography and hopefully, as I say, it's worked out well. Um, apologies if there's been sort of a bit of lack of B-roll and everything else within this image, uh, within this vlog. It's always going to be tricky. Yeah, um, obviously you, you can see a few things with the uh, human eye, but to pick up on the actual cameras, it's uh, re really impossible. But um, it's, it's been enjoyable and it's all about the images, which is ultimately the main thing at the end of the day. Thank you everyone for watching. Please make sure you leave us a comment as I really do enjoy those comments. Please give it a like if you've enjoyed it as well. And until next time when I'm back out and about, take care.